thought it would be helpful to put together some short videos talking about avoiding some of the pitfalls when buying used equipment on eBay or locally through a Craigslist listing. One of the scuba equipment products you'll find easily available are scuba cylinders. And prior to 1988, there were over 25 million scuba cylinders made using an aluminum alloy called 6351 that's proven to be susceptible to something called sustained load cracking. So what I'm going to show you now is I have a cylinder that I bought from someone locally that ended up being one of these 6351 cylinders and uh, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that show you how to identify the cylinders and give you some recommendations on making that purchase. Okay, what we've got here is this aluminum cylinder that I purchased locally and it turned out to be manufactured by a company called Walter Kitty who made tanks up until about 1989. Uh, all of their cylinders are made with the 6351 alloy so knowing that it's a Walter Kitty cylinder is going to um, be the first thing you're going to look for. Luxfer also made some. They ceased production in May of 1988. So um, let's take a look at this cylinder and we can talk about you know what you're going to be looking for as you review a, a scuba cylinder. So right here is the original manufacturer's information. WK means Walter Kitty. As you can hopefully see here on the video, um, it was originally put into service in 1979. So the first thing you're going to look for is is a cylinder older than 1988 or 88 and older and or was it a Walter Kitty? So that's a little bit about what you need to be looking for when you're looking at buying a used tank. It's made prior to 1989. It could be that 6351 alloy. So see if it's a Walter Kitty tank or if it's a Luxfer tank manufactured prior to May of 88. And have a frank conversation with the seller. Tell them you know, that you'd like to have the tank visually inspected or if it's out of hydro, have it hydro tested. Not sure if they're going to do that for you, but it's a smart move for you. could avoid a costly mistake. Hope that helps. Look for our next tip. And be sure to visit www.theamazingocean.com. Thanks for tuning in.